This is work that my mentors, Dr. Avigan and Rosenblatt, have been leading for several years. So at our institution, we have developed a vaccination in the hybridoma format where we fuse dendritic cells with autologous uh, autologous dendritic cells with tumor cells from the patients. And the idea really is that the fusion cell would present uh, a broad area of antigens from the tumor cell to the uh, T cells and you know, lead to a immunity against the T cell, of, uh, against multiple different antigens. Um, and previously, uh, we have had clinical trials led by Dr. Rosenblatt at our institution, uh, where we have shown that the survival was uh, significantly better in patients who got the fusion vaccine uh, after they had attained a post-chemotherapy um, remission. Um, Building on that, uh, so for CAR T cell therapy also, we are now working on a combinatorial strategy with the fusion vaccine and CAR T uh, with the idea that the vaccine would induce uh, an immune response in the innate T cell, in the resident T cell population, and also sort of uh, activate the CAR T cells through the native TCR uh, to increase persistence, hopefully, even despite the loss of the single antigen target of that CAR cell. So we have a great preclinical data from that uh, work uh, from our Avigan lab, and we are starting to uh, bring this to the clinic in the form of a phase one trial. In that clinical trial that I was mentioning earlier with, uh, doc where Dr. Rosenblatt uh, tested the dendritic cell and the tumor fusion vaccine in patients with AML who had attained um, a remission post chemotherapy, uh, we actually performed, uh, or my colleagues and uh, Dr. Legal from our group actually performed uh, transcriptome analysis comparing the transcriptome profile of responders versus non-responders. And in that, we saw that a lower level of TGF-beta was associated with you know, a better response to the vaccine. So from that came the hypothesis that maybe inhibiting TGF-beta in these populations may lead to a better response. Um, so we are currently working with a preclinical murine model where we are using TGF-beta inhibition in combination with the vaccine um, to see if there is a benefit. So far, we have been able to demonstrate in our in vitro experiments that there is enhanced cytotoxicity with that combination, and it does seem to be acting on the immunosuppressive T cell subsets because we saw a decrease in the expression of um, PD-1 and Fox. B3. And uh, in our in vivo experiments, we have seen um, some survival benefit um, in the mice that were treated with the combination.